Okay, we'd like to introduce Lily. She's 73 years old. She's showing increasing signs of ageing. So she's losing her hearing and losing her memory. She's lonely and isolated in her Stockholm apartment. And her children are abroad. She's lost her husband. But she loves to garden and loves growing vegetables. And she wants to find a way to access more space in Stockholm for growing vegetables and fruit. So what does Lily do? She joins Pollination. And as a starter kit, she gets sensors for her balcony garden. Sensors that tell her how much light she gets, and then uh, sensors uh, in pots to understand, okay, how can I best take care of this uh, pot? But this is connected to an app that tells her, okay, based on your conditions, what should you grow on your balcony? But she's not alone in this situation. She's connected to a school that also has this app. And in the school, they have their garden with also sensors that tell them what best to grow and in what situation. And they need pollinators for this. So they have a beehive on top of the school. The beehive has sensors both in the house and on each individual bee. So you can see as Bob the bee, as they affectionately call one of the bees, flies across out in the neighborhood. So when Bob the bee lands on Lily's balcony, she knows Bob has visited me today. And the kids also know look, where the bees have gone. So the kids can start to understand how we all live in a community. So then uh, Lily can come and help the students understand and grow what they're doing. She gets more space so she can grow more vegetables. But also there's a sense of community where she can exchange and share with what she grows on her balcony, along with all the other neighborhood people who also have their balcony gardens. So then they can all share in the fruits of their labors. Join now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How is this not a safety hazard for the school when you have a beehive on the roof? Oh, how yeah. it's safe? Yeah, how is it not a safety hazard? Because these hazard? aren't angry bees that are trying to sting you. Uh, it's, it's not a, it's the only time where you're it's exposed to bees like by, is when you're really, really close to the hive if you get in the way for their But the kids are yeah. hanging out at the hive. So you have to like really try to work on the sting you. They die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're down here in the garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I've been listening to both uh, the previous group and your group. It's very based on no, no knowledge. But I got the feeling that Lily here was, she loves gardening. Perhaps she knows a lot. And she wants to share it. Yes, yeah. mm, uh, the kids. That's the kids. She, she, so she, that's does she, that. she shares, yes. She does. So, so is there any different? How can the system tell knowledge? It shares through the. She can interact with the students on a regular basis with the app, and the app also has uh, cameras, so you can watch time lapse as your plants grow, and she can give feedback to each other and say, okay, based on your conditions, what is best and optimal to grow. So there's a. Will they know she is a mentor? Or <coughs> yes, 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 sort yes. Of and she yes. comes and physically visits them as well. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Not as, yeah. Yes, yeah. Because because physical attention. and digital. Yeah. In yeah. weekends, the kids are not there, and in the summer holidays, so mm -hmm. the community around the school could take care of the garden. So lilies and other lilies and other those types of well. mm -hmm. The crowd in the pollination. Mm -hmm. So, question of the year. <coughs> other, other than pollination and things like that, what does the bee do? Uh, yeah, it, con it connects. It's mm -hmm. like a connector. Uh, that physically shows that they are connected. It's like a also a, has a symbol value. But uh, yeah. yeah. But bees, <laughs> bees visit any food source. So how do you know that they have the same kind of plants? I mean, a bee will say yum if it sees nectar or anything there. It'll go to any. It doesn't go to just a single species. No, 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 of no, plant. no. no so, that's that's not the, It's not a one particular plant. It's if they visit her balcony. That'll be registered if they go someplace else. It's just to show the students also to learn understand that we're all part of a larger community. Ah, okay. So it's a yes. it's a visual way of understanding that, and then um, also for Lily to know, hey, look, I had five bees that came to visit me today. And look I'm where like, they went after. Yes, exactly. Me. And who we should meet. The maybe. Sensors to each bee. Uh, <laughs> there's the team that you gives out the kids. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they they. Yeah. yeah. Yes. They will dig into some west uh, vests. <laughs> 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 okay.